welcome to this video playing international master Michel Michel from uh, Finland. I'm playing a weird line, the Kuprajic variation. Early bishop d7, one of the better of beat Sicilians. This is one point you sometimes get the bishop to c6. Yeah, that's that's very interesting. Um, the worst thing is that I have forgotten how you play that really. Mm. Mm. Okay, I probably need to. Do I need to do this? Mm. Okay, I am not sure. I'm not sure if I need to, but um, uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll do it anyway. So probably now, queen to c5. I need to get rid of this queen on h5. It's just um, just too annoying. Oh, that's surprising. At least it's surprising for me. I'm not. I'm playing this uh, opening for the first time. I only recently saw a game with it and thought, okay, this is interesting. But I think it, normally in this kind of structures, it is considered that um, to be um, to be good for Black to have the queens exchanged, and he just uh, allowed that without any particular. Yeah, I, I, without um, yeah, I don't I don't see any great benefit for him in doing that. Okay, it's important that on f five I have king e seven. Yeah, I guess I don't want to play e five. And now the king on e seven defends d six together with the rook. E six is also defended and. My absolute dream would be to interesting move would be to get the bishop to e5. Mm, is he going for b4? Yeah, maybe. But okay, this is good anyway. Intending bishop f4 to e5, and if I manage that, it's excellent. I think he must play g3, yeah, and uh, he did. Now I can actually get the bishop over. Uh, maybe. No. I briefly thought he can play rook e1, knight d5 Check. or something. Um, okay. Takes, pawn takes. Ah, okay. Pawn takes. He's got uh, this rook check. Mm, yeah. Okay. Nice move. Knight d5. Okay. This means I I need to be content with this. Check. Which is <clears throat> obviously not uh, not too brilliant. Check. It's, uh, it's still it's it still should be okay. But um, I, I really thought I was I was uh, in good shape before, and this now can be at best, uh, yeah, fighting fighting for a draw, a pawn down. Okay. Yeah, he's got this weakness here. I need to get this attacked quickly. Bishop here. Wow. Do I need to play bishop b6? Really? It's not uh, not great. Yeah, but I don't see what else really. This rook c7. I mean, bishop e6 and rook c7 was really, a, really a problem. Uh, 
intending bishop c5. Trying to block the queen side. Maybe I could have played it immediately. Not what I wanted to do, really not. Okay. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I'm the H pawn. Just the H pawn, and uh, don't I don't have uh, any particular counterplay. Wow, this knight d5 move was really a really a, a big problem. Time warning. Yeah. Yeah, he just promotes this bloody H pawn. Black resigns. Yeah, this was a bad game by me I mean here yeah, really this must be this must be good for black really there's no way that's not good for black I've got two bishops the, the structure is, is, is really good I only need to avoid any tactical tricks I don't think uh, this can be uh, anything great for white 95 was great though so this is just not good because of knight d5, yeah, amazing, really amazing. Hmm. Huh, remarkable. What, 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 what is it, what I need to do here? I mean, what, what would be excellent is uh, to get one pair of rooks off or even two pairs. Imagine this position with rooks exchanged. Black is flat out winning because my bishop pair will put so much pressure on the pawns that he, that he cannot defend it. So I need to get the rooks exchanged. Of course, what I wanted to do is I wanted to activate the bishop Oops, <laughs> here first, but it, it got hit by this great knight d5 move really great so this is not good I need to do something else and uh, my suggestion is to go here then here and maybe rook the bishop back to get one rook out of the out of black's camp and maybe try to exchange rooks this would be uh, would be excellent something like that yeah this is the comp move intending and it gives this as a possible drawing line yeah maybe maybe white has enough activity with this 95 tricks to uh to um yeah i'm not sure this is uh, i didn't paint that <laughs> i don't know how it um, came up well i don't know I mean, this this looks i mean i know positions like the, the like that they often pop up in the rouser variation and uh, with queens on they are normally good for white with queens off black is uh, in excellent shape and i have got queens off here maybe um, yeah maybe it is um it is just about okay for white possible if i don't get the rooks exchanged and all my bishop activated then then I'm willing to believe that. Yeah, but this was very strong. This knight d5 move Check. was very strong. Yeah, yeah. And this this is even really awful. So I need to do that. And um, Check. here. Check. Yeah, he's just winning this pawn. Yeah. I thought I have enough counterplay against uh, against uh, against these pawns, but it 
didn't uh, materialize. I mean, I lost I lost a couple of moves and such, but uh, yeah, remarkable. Yeah, it's probably just uh, just bad. Yeah, I'm wondering about the defense here. If there is some some tougher defense av available with opposite colored bishops i mean there should be some way to at least uh, fight but it's possible that it's just uh, just not it's not uh, sufficient yeah um, after this h4 he will always play at uh, a later stage after preparation g4 and get the h pawn maybe this is really too bad possible yeah i played a good game there he really played a good game. G3, bishop e3, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I need to I need to get I need to do this uh, regrouping. Uh, he tells to me here steht Schwarz schon schlecht. No, that's nonsense. Black is uh, at least equal here. Uh, that's absolutely this is nonsense. Black is never worse. Absolutely never. Because he can do nothing. I can just sit and wait. And nothing happens, yeah. But it's um, it's um, it's it's tr it's tricky. All right, thanks for watching.